Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jenkins tutorial, we are going to learn how we are going to parameterize the browser and the URL that we have used in the previous tutorial to run our test automation and then have a choice to choose the browser on which browser we want to run our test cases on. Okay, so we have used these uh, browsers here, right? So browser, we have hard coded the value. Okay, so basically we can easily parameterize it. The concept will be same. We'll be using the choice parameters and we'll provide the choice of browsers that we want to execute our test cases on okay so simply scroll up change it to this project is parameterized and we'll go to the choice parameter okay and here we'll simply say browser okay and the choices that we want to provide so we'll simply say firefox and edge as of now okay so firefox chrome and edge will be the choices that we want to provide and then we'll another will provide another choice parameter for the url right because uh, we are using the url as well okay and in your test in your test projects or in your projects usually you will have different urls for different test environments you will have the multiple qa environments where the application gets deployed then you will have pre-prod and the production and your automation scripts you might have to point to any of these environments and execute so url for each of those environments might be different right or will be different basically not might it will be different so we need to parameterize the url as well say for example the qa environment for yatra.com just hypothetically just assuming right so they might be having something like qa.yatra.com before yatra.com releases the functionalities to the actual production website they would be testing it in the qa environment in the uat or in any any different environment that is there within their internal organization once that is tested then it would be available in the yatra.com so that's how usually it is done in the project so let's parameterize the url as well and we will provide the value so first value will choose is yatra.com and then the second value let's say for example qa.yatra.com and then say for example third value they have say for example another qa environment qa1.yatra.com okay just hypothetically assuming these these won't launch because these are just invalid url this one will work okay now we also want to have a choice of the report name okay so what we can do is we can parameterize this as well but as of now just leave it as is okay we'll just parameterize the browser and the url okay now we have provided these names so to, in order to access these here what we need to do is we need to simply because this is windows batch command so we'll use the percentage and then the parameter name followed by the percentage similarly for the url instead of hard coding the value we'll simply say percentage url and the percentage okay so once you are done with that apply and save it if it would have been you know like the unix command we'll use dollar and the name of the parameter okay so whatever the name of the parameter so after apply click on save and let's go ahead and execute it okay so now you'll see it has changed to the build with parameters click on that and now we have the option to choose the browser on which we want to execute our test cases so by default the first one is available in the choice i can select say for example this time i want to execute my test cases on edge and let's execute on the valid url first and then i'll show you i can choose the other urls as well from this drop down okay and click on build so this time edge should launch and it is still going ahead so let's see edge browser should launch and the test case should start running on the edge browser you'll see the edge browser has launched right and the test cases if i maximize it you'll see that it is doing the similar test execution as it did in the chrome browser but this time in the edge browser and that too through the jenkins job that we have config and this is the parameterized jenkins job so let's go to the console output see what's in the output there let's go to the end and you'll see that it has executed it completely and the failure is because of the verification like it is hasn't been able to found the stops so in all the results that were displayed or the filtered based on the outcome okay so let's go to the job again go to the configuration so here we have changed the directory to a project directory right we can also externalize that as well so what we can do here is we can simply copy it if you scroll up here you will see so usually this custom space so let me apply it and save it and then come back go to configure and there is an advanced button that 
will be enabled so if you scroll down here you will you won't see that custom workspace by default go to advanced and you will see use custom workspace right so you'll select that and provide the directory of the custom workspace or basically the workspace where our scripts are so we have provided that custom workspace here and now we can refer that particular custom workspace so if you go to this available environment variable now this directory is the jenkins environment variable which is basically the custom workspace that jenkins will store because the value is being provided now there should be some way to access this value or the location into our script right so if you go to this available environment variable there are these you know environment variable that are available to the scripts that you can use to access these variables okay so if we go to the workspace right so you'll see the workspace is available now the way we access our own parameters and the variables that we have defined we can access these variables as well so we'll simply copy that workspace and because this is windows batch we can access using the percentage and followed by the variable name environment variable name and followed by the percentage right so we are changing to the workspace and then executing the test as usual right so now there is no hard coding of the even the workspace where our scripts are so we have defined that location the custom workspace the direct directory and tomorrow if my scripts are present in some other location i'll simply come and change this directory and this particular command will work as is we do not have to do any changes here okay so apply and then save it so if it would have been a shell script then in order to access this workspace what you will do is you will simply say dollar and then followed by the workspace like that okay so i'll save it apply and save and let's try to run it and see that it runs exactly the same way so this time let me execute in firefox and then let's say qa.yatra.com this time okay we just want to see that the job is running perfectly fine it doesn't matter if it doesn't open the correct url qa.yatra.com is not a valid url so it will definitely fail okay so there is some issue here let's see the console output the error there is some error okay so building in workspace and so it did find that there are okay let's try executing again with the correct so let's try executing on the edge again okay so it was the issue with the firefox browser i think it this time it is running exactly the same way right we go to the job still running console output so it is finished almost and the build is finished okay so this is basically how you are going to parameterize the execution so basically creating the job in jenkins to execute the test cases or to execute the test cases within the project that are locally on your computer right and then you know parameterize those variables that we have utilized the browser and the url using the choice parameter and then executing it this won't be the actual case in your projects because jenkins Jenkins is set up for the whole team right so there will be sort of you know one server for a project that will be utilizing so developers will be utilizing and you as a tester will be utilizing as soon as there is a check-in or build from the developers then you will implement your own job as a tester and there'll be one job for a project uh, the, for, for the testing project as well every tester won't be implementing their own job in jenkins so there'll be sort of a one one job or two jobs depending on say for example you want to execute the sanity say there'll be a job for the sanity or regression and then when the build happens or developers deploy a new build then that particular test job will trigger the test automation job which will pull the code from the git repository github wherever your test automation mission scripts are and then execute those scripts on the new build on the new environment that you will choose depending on the parameters that you have chosen here and email or communicate the results automatically or manually okay so most probably you can set up i mean mostly there will be automated email that gets triggered through jenkins which i'll cover in the next tutorial so this one is to help you to understand how you can configure job and run the test cases that are there on your local machine in the ideal scenario Scenario in the actual project it will be you will be fetching the code you will be creating the job and the job will be per project not every tester will be creating that job okay so you need to understand the whole process 
and then see how you can help in that overall activities if you are a test architect and things like that you will be doing all of these things very frequently and will you will be you know working and maintaining all all of this so once that job is created the the code from the github or bitbucket will be pulled and test cases will be executed accordingly so in the next tutorial we'll understand how you can set up the job which will pull the code that we have checked into github and execute the same the same test cases using the new job so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching